Today, we'll take a look at how to manage layers in Photoshop. Have you ever worked with a lot of layers in Photoshop? Trust me, I know that having lots of layers can get quite confusing, and so you end up using the eye tool to try and pinpoint that one text layer, color, or adjustment. Be confused no more because the solution has been in front of you the entire time, and chances are that you haven't used it yet. In the layers panel, you have a drop down menu that by default is set to kind. And you also have these five icons, as well as a toggle button on the right. All of these things are search tools which will help you organize and plan the stages of your design efficiently. Having kind, which means the type of layer you're searching, will allow you to use these five icons to display either pixel layers, such as JPEGs, PNGs, etc. All of your filters, such as lookups, curves and levels. Your text layers. And all of your smart objects. Notice the toggle button on the right hand side which can be turned off or on with whatever icon you have selected at the moment, which helps with workflow. Of course you can have multiple kinds of files showing if you need to. The second option is to search by name, and this is possible when you keep track of your layers in this way. To rename a layer, simply double click on it. You can also search by effects used in blending options, blending modes, Attributes, such as if the layer is locked, visible or hidden. Color, if for example you choose to color code your background layers in red. This can be done by right clicking on any layer and selecting the colors available. Smart object types. Active selected areas. And finally, artboards. By using a combination of groups, layer names, color coding and filtering, not only will you save yourself time, but you also appear professional in front of your client if they request revisions. And this was Design Dummy.